Hey everybody, welcome to Stack Snacks. I'm John Swicky, and we are going to look at Brave Browser's Leo plugin today and give it kind of a give it kind of a quick spin. So what we got up here is I think we're in Brave Beta at the moment, but this should be rolling out to everybody. So by the time you watch this, I think this is rolling out in the main Brave browser. If you haven't heard of Brave Browser before, it's basically kind of very privacy-centric, ad blocker, kind of technology built in. There's a crypto wallet, but it is based on the open source Chromium project and works really well with any Chrome extensions. Um, and out of the box, even if you don't use any of the, you can kind of very easily ignore some features, but their ad blocking stuff works pretty good. So... It's definitely been a browser that's been in on my machines for quite some time. So was excited to see a little AI. I think Microsoft coined these terms, but it's a little co-pilot <laughs> uh, up here in our sidebar. So, all right, I got new tools today here. We're going to start drawing on the screen here. So we got a little sidebar here and a little button right there shows up where you can click on you can get access to this. So Leo is built off of Llama 2. And by default, the free version gives you the 13 billion parameter model. And for, let's see, 15 bucks a month, we can upgrade to a premium version and we can get access to Claude and some more, some more rate limit. So Let's just, let's just start talking and, oh, I've got to get rid of my, my draw tool. Let's just start talking and, and see how Claude can help us. I mean, not Claude, but <laughs> Leo can help us out here. Oh, I need help making a new or can you help me make a spreadsheet template? I have no idea why this is the first thing in my head. Okay. It's probably a bad first example. So obviously we played around Llama Llama two, so we don't need to ask it a bunch of questions. Actually, we play, I mean we played with Llama, you know, in previous videos. So let's see. Why don't we just go to? Why don't we go to a page? See if any extra features pop up. All right, Verge little news action. Oh, did I? Why does it keep showing this up? Okay, so you go to settings. Oh, I was playing around with this before. Let's go back to that so we don't have the paywall keep popping up. Let's actually make sure there's no other settings. Default, show Leo, and then show show prompts. Let's keep that on. Okay, so I got some questions. So it looks like I was reading the page. And what is the significance of the reference to woke GPT in the article and why is this mentioned alongside Elon Musk's product? Okay, so it looks like it's taking... Yeah, it's taking articles from The Verge's homepage and kind of coming up with questions. All right, so let's go into this one and let's just ask it to summarize for us. Yeah, it gave me kind of a... Hey, excuse me. Nice, <clears throat> nice quick little breakdown. That's nice. Let's go to review PC gift guide. Okay, these gift guides are usually pretty long. Oh, we got some good questions here. Okay, let's just ask one of these. Like, why is this mouse considered? Oh, the page is too long for Leo. Some contacts could be missing from the conversation. Okay, so looks like the the input lengths can only be so long. So let's see. PC gift guy. All right. Let's ask what best ideas for content creators. Okay, so this is, I meant in the context of the page, so definitely, I think went a little deeper there. Let's see. Based, based off this page, what would be the best gift for a content creator? Let's see if we can get off this one here.
I don't know. It still feels kind of generic. All right, let's do. Let's go to sports. Let's uh, block that. I don't know what that is. Can you give me a quote from this from this page that gives me a general idea about the article? Yes. Okay. Okay. So we're talking. We're talking. I mean, essentially, you get you know whatever page you're is con- is kind of in the context window. It, it uses it feeds it into the llama, and you kind of do some stuff with it right now. Let's see if you could summarize a, a YouTube video. Okay, so it doesn't look like it knows. So we won't even ask it. And let's just go to Braves. Oh, can I trust Braves search all in one privacy protections or not? So, I mean, it's interesting to have, you know, these things kind of built into to workflows. I like that Braves trying to do a very privacy using the open source model. You could switch to Claude if you want to pay. It's kind of a cool model. There's no mobile version. That'll be interesting to see how they apply that. You know, you know, as as kind of a free pro- product alongside here for the browser is going to be great. For- and I think it's it's nice to see using lab on ways like this. Where it can help bring this kind of stuff to more people. And of course, being very private and kind of protecting people's privacy first. I think that's an, a good thing that I like about Brave. But let's see if we can get four we... Brave. I want to know a little bit more about Leo. Like, or missing anything about Brave, Leo? Make like private, private, anonymous. And Leo doesn't record, share chats, or use them for model training. No counter login, just open up the chat privately. That's, you know, that's going to be, that's kind of their bread, going to be their bread and butter, and it will get people to use it over anything else. So they use the summarization. Okay, so they're going to work it into the mobile browser, and you don't need to sign up for an account. There may be usage limits, I guess you'll have to, but. It's a cool land page too. So that's a little bit of a taste of Brave Leo. Kind of a no-brainer to use at work in your workflows if you're a Brave browser user. And also gives you a reason to run with Llama 2. So if anybody starts playing around with it, let us know. Thanks everybody for joining me. Have a good rest. Have a good night, everybody.